Hello there guys. Okay, this is um, video number four, working with data. And um, from the previous video, I've just made a couple of small changes. I have removed the binding navigator on the top. I've deleted that. I've added a list box. And as in video number two, all I did was I bound data items. I um, The data source was selected was the contact table binding source, the binding source on the same form. Okay. And uh, my display member was the first name from that binding source. Okay, and I've removed the ID box and I've removed the date created box. Okay, um, I've added a new button that's exit, and I've also went and I deleted all of the code except for the um, the full statement or the full um, function for the binding source for the table adapter. Sorry. Okay, so this line of code is actually the line of code that's produced by your binding source once it's created. So it's an automatic line of code that gets added to your form load event when you create a binding source. Okay? Um, it also produces this to do, this line of code loads data into the context data set, context table, table. You can move and remove it as you need. Okay? And I just want to show you a little tip as well. Um, any statement that starts with a to do colon is actually f can be found in your task list. Um, you can see it if you click on view, other windows, task list, and once it shows the task list, you change it from user tasks to comments, and there you'll see the to-do. If I type another to-do here, for example, and look at my task, now you'll see that Bob's there. Okay? Just something to help you when you do coding and you know that you need to complete something, you can add a line of code there. But anyway, okay, so um, on my exit button, I have put a closing statement, okay? And this video is actually going to look at how to amend and save information. Okay, so before we work on the save button itself, let's just have a look at how it runs by itself. Okay, I can select um, Bob or Susan from my list. I'm going to um, need to change something and then click on save. And for us to be able to do that, I've already written the code. It's um, me.validate. You need to validate your form first of all. Okay, the validate throws um, information into each text box and make sure that um, each one has been completed successfully. The second one is end edit. The end edit statement allows you to... Um, if you start editing an item, especially an item that is bound to a data source, will stop the, the editing method of that data source. All right? And me dot table adapter, a table adapter manager, update all, and it has to update a context data set. Okay? And then I have a small message box that says saved, just to show you if something has been saved. Okay, so let's have a look at how it works. I'm going to change, let's say for instance, Susan, her telephone number from 050505 to 040404. Click on save, saved. I'm going to close the application, run it again just to show you that it updated in the database 040404. Okay? It's quite a simple. So all you need to do is do an update, you end edit before you do an update. And before you end the edit, you make sure that all of the valid fields are filled in, and that's with me validate. Okay, the message box that's so saved is only an indication for the user to show that the saving uh, process is completed. Okay, so the next video, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to have an add button. Let me just create the button now first. Okay, and the add button is um, going to allow us to run a new form. Just form number two should be fine. And um, we'll be able to add these items. New.form2.
sorry, <laughs> not me, it's form 2. So, okay, so um, in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to click on add and it's going to open the form. We'll be able to add the items on um, some of the text boxes. Let me add one or two now so, so we have any, an idea what's going to happen. Okay, and then the next video we'll be able to add items um, into these fields and then save them to the database. Okay, the reason why I'm doing all of this uh, um, for the manual part of it actually is um, so that people who want to program without the binding navigator would be able to change information, save, update, and delete um, items by writing their own code. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.